I get a lot of questions every year about how do insects survive the winter? We had a particularly cold winter this year and people always are very hopeful that a lot of the pests and some of the bugs that they don't like will be killed by those cold snaps. And the truth is that that's not gonna happen most of, the, most of the time. Insects have a lot of strategies to survive the winter, to survive those cold periods. Some insects like our favorites, the monarchs or the painted lady butterflies, which we saw a lot of last year, they can actually migrate. They use successive generations to escape cold areas like Nebraska and move into warmer areas like Mexico. And so they actually avoid those cold temperatures. That's one strategy, one really efficient strategy, but some insects, they can't pull that off. And so they have to live where it's cold and they either are going to try and avoid being frozen or they're going to be able to tolerate those freezing temperatures. In order to tolerate freezing, you usually have an antifreeze inside of your body as an insect, just like the antifreezes that we put into our cars. They have the same chemicals in them that help them to stop ice crystals from forming in their body. This helps them to stop being frozen and keeps them safe and alive throughout the winter. That's a minority of insects though. Most insects fall into the freeze avoidance category where they try to find some spot around them where they can get away from the cold. Some insects do this as an adult. In this bag here, we have a brown marmorated stink bug. Brown marmorated stink bugs are an invasive species that are a problem in gardens. They're kind of relatively new to the Nebraska area, but when they feed on those plants, they can cause damage. One of the bigger issues we see with them is in the fall, they invade our home in order to try and escape and avoid those freezing temperatures. They think our houses and our buildings are just big, tall, warm trees that they can hide out in. So they crawl inside and become a problem. We also see this with multicolored Asian lady beetle and things like box elder bugs and a few others. So when we have that happen, we have to vacuum them up or spray them down with soapy water and get rid of them. But that's one way of doing it. Other insects are going to avoid freezing by overwintering as an egg. One example of that would be a bagworm. Inside of these bags, the female bagworm will have laid her eggs and they're protected inside the bag. The egg is protected by its own anti-freezing chemicals and they overwinter in that way so that they don't get frozen. Others are gonna do it as a larva. Everybody has been talking about the Japanese beetle for the last year and a half or so. The Japanese beetle as a larva is a white grub and turf like what's all around me here. They feed on the roots of grass and can be problematic during the summer and the fall, but during the winter, they move below the frost line in the soil and they wait out those cold temperatures. When it starts to warm up in the spring, they can feel that and they move closer to the surface and get ready to emerge. Insects are able to feel temperature changes they're also able to notice that the days are getting longer rather than the shorter winter days. And so that helps them to know when to come out and when they can reactivate their life cycles or hatch. And then that helps them to start new populations the next year. So it was cold, you were miserable, and it's not gonna help you get rid of any pests, I'm sorry to tell you.